Hello and welcome. Today I want to teach you how to do double and triple picots. These are a really nice element to add to your tatting to give it a little more flair, a little more frill. You can join to these picots like you do with regular picots. So don't be afraid to use them. They're very, very nice. As you can see, I'm using Aunt Lydia's size 10 thread. The delicacy really doesn't pronounce itself with this thread. These double and triple picots used in the finer threads like the 40s, 50s, 60s and on up, they are gorgeous. Okay, I won't lie to you, they're gorgeous to use with your smaller threads. However, they seem tedious and hard to do, but they're not. I'm going to show you using Georgia's largest pico gauge this is about an inch okay and you can get them from her they're on her website her store the link will be down below but they're wonderful tatting gauges and they help you keep your picos even okay throughout but on the first one for the double pico, we're going to use this gauge, the one inch. Whoops, dropped out of my hand. So, we're going to wrap our hand to do a chain. Now, I've already got five double stitches sitting right here, or four, excuse me. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to make the pico. The best way to keep your picos even is use these pico gauges. Whether you buy them or you make them, use them. Because if you're going to put your tatting in some kind of a fair or something like that, craft show exhibition, you want your picos even because they do measure. All right. So we got our pico in. What I did was I placed the gauge there and put my first double stitch in. Now I can remove that gauge, slide that double stitch over. Now that pico is going to twist, it's going to do all kinds of crazy little things. Move that pico over and get it in the pinch. You don't want it to twist. Now we're going to add one more double stitch. Alright, now we've got that in. Now it's time to make our double pico. What you do is you reach down through the pico. You grab your thread, if it will cooperate, and pull it up. Hook it on your finger for right now. This is where double picots can get tedious. All right? So you're going to run your shuttle back through as if it was a joint. What I do is I grab up there where it's joined. Lay that shuttle down. Use your pick, your crochet hook, whatever. I find laying the shuttle down relieves the tension, stops the drawing on the thread. I adjust my picots, get them lined up. Alright. Pull everything into place. And I'm going to pop in a double stitch. A complete double stitch. That's going to lock everything into place. Once you get that, you see your double pico is in. Then you continue on with your tatting. Alright. What I'm going to do is put in four double stitches between the double pico and the triple. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, and four. Now, the triple pico is going to have to be larger to accommodate the amount of thread that you need to make it. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use this. This is the one inch. I'm going to gauge it by eye. Uh, I can't find my extra large two inch pico gauge right now. I don't know what I've done with it. But your uh, handy hands pico gauges do have it on there. So we want a larger pico. So what we're going to do is pull this thread down to about where we want our pico. 
match our shuttle two th our shuttle one thread to it line everything up and put in a double stitch once you get that double stitch in then you just slide it over to your other work it's going to do the same thing it's going to twist it's going to flip it's going to flop let it after you get your double stitch over then you're going to put in another double stitch You don't have to worry about the twist or anything in this large pico until you're ready to use it. Now I have the second double stitch. Now we're going to put in just a regular pico. So let's put that in. All right, slide it over. It's in place. Put in another double stitch. Once that second double stitch is in, that's where we've got to make sure this pico here is all righty tighty. So we're going to reach down through that large pico, grab our thread right here at the top, hook it on our finger. Okay, now we want to run that shuttle nail to knuckle through that loop. Lay the shuttle down. Pick up our crochet hook, get that over there, and start tightening it down right into place where you want it. Now let's adjust this loop, and you can. You just tug that middle one and that outer one till you get it adjusted to the length that you want. Okay, see how I've got it adjusted? You want your outer pico to be larger than your center pico. Normally, I would measure these so that they're all the same length throughout, you know, like they're supposed to be. There'll be a, the exact amount of gap that I need. After you get everything adjusted, you want to put in your double stitches to hold everything in place. And you can see there is a triple pico right there. Let me get that. See it? It's extremely large, so you can see how it is. But here is the outer pico. Aunt Lydia's is not as stiff as tatting thread, so therefore it's flippy. And there's your inner pico, and then there's the little pico at the bottom. Normally, I would adjust all of the picots to make them all even throughout but this is demonstration only so no comments on well your picots are too big I know they're too big I did that for demonstration purposes so that you could see the difference so there you go so I hope you've learned something I hope you enjoy using the double and triple picots they're very easy to do and they're a nice added element to your tatting. The only problem I have seen when using the double triple picots is your chain or your ring will tend to twist on you. You will have to adjust. As with any tatting that requires a lot of double stitches on a chain or a ring, you're going to get that twist. There's no way around it. You just have to adjust or use the balance double stitch and that'll help take some of it away. So until next time, I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and happy tatting.